Hi everyone, my name is Umang and I'm going to talk about the topic using Ant Quality System to consolidate VMs for green cloud computing. So let's begin. The outline of this is something like introduction, then literature, then problem statement, then objective, then design, followed by result, conclusion, and lastly the references. Cloud computing. It is a relatively new computing paradigm. Okay. What exactly it does is that it takes the existing concepts of technologies like the data centers, hardware virtualization, and gives them a new perspective. It has a pay-per-use business model for the customers, which allows it to shift the capital investment that is money for under or over provisioning onto the cloud providers. But on the other hand, it has a downfall that is the ever increasing demand of the cloud infrastructure leads to the significant rise in size and energy consumption of the cloud data centers. But over the past few years, this energy consumption is reduced by several methods. A few of them will be discussed. Dynamic server provisioning. It is an approach to save energy by actually reducing the resources used for satisfying a particular workload requirement. That is, if the workload is less, then unnecessary servers are actually switched off or are put into the low power mode to decrease the energy. Whereas when the demand increases, the servers are actually switched on and put back into the high power mode. Another method for reducing the energy and actually getting the energy efficient is the dynamic beam consolidation. What it does is that it uses the concept of hardware virtualization in which one single physical machine is used and it is shared by different VM, that is virtual machines, and all these virtual machines actually run their independent application tasks. The sharing of the VM by the different virtual machines is actually handled by a virtual machine monitor. So virtualization or let's say dynamic VM consolidation actually takes the dynamic server provisioning one step further and allows these applications to be allocated to a same physical machine that is and hence improving the issue utilization and colony optimization. Some of the combinatorially difficult problems like the NP hard problems needs another optimized solutions and one of the methods to actually do this is an ACO or ant colony optimization which is actually inspired by the behavior of the real ant colonies as they travel from the nest to the food source and again back to the nest in which actually these ants as they travel they actually deposit a chemical substance called pheromone and these pheromones are actually smelled by the ants and they follow the path which has a higher pheromone concentration. Motivation behind this topic was that as the infrastructure demand is increasing, the energy consumption has significantly increased. Another thing is that as the customer's expectations increase, the desired level of quality has to be maintained by the cloud providers to satisfy their customers. But it not only increases the operating cost, but it also increases the higher carbon emissions, which is a threat to the environment. Some of the related works are the VM consolidation approaches to reduce the underutilization of physical machines and optimize their efficiency. The main idea is to migrate the VM, that is, virtual machines, periodically so as to switch off the physical machines are underloaded and terminate them and hence make them use less energy and get the process more energy efficient. But the determining how to relocate, when to relocate an overloaded physical machine is the important aspect of the VM consolidation problem which is actually an NPR problem and it directly influences the resource utilization as well as the quality of service. Some of the related works are energy aware resource allocation heuristics for efficient management of data centers for cloud computing, written by Bello Glazov, J. Abovajay, and R. Goya. What they do is they actually take two thresholds which indicate the time the VM should be relocated. So, actually, what it does is the CPU utilization of the PM is actually between these two thresholds. But the demerit is that since this 
threshold are actually set statically, they won't be actually efficient for the dynamic workloads. Another work is using ant colony systems to consolidate multiple web applications in a cloud environment, written by A. Ashraf and i 4 in which they presented the ACS, which is currently the best and ant algorithms and uh, it, they actually presented the existing SEO based resource allocation and server consolidation approaches. The next one is Ant Colony Optimization for the Nonlinear Resource Allocation Problem, written by PYEN and JY Wang, in which they applied this ACO to some nonlinear resource allocation problem, in which they, they actually seek the allocation, that is, the optimal allocation of a limited resources to perform a number of tasks and actually at the same time optimize their nonlinear audit function. Virtual machine consolidation in cloud data centers using ACO meta heuristic written by m 4 dos m shared Arkel Herios and Arduya in which they integrated the ant colony system method with a vector algebra based server resource utilization capturing technique. Ant algorithm for distributed optimization written by M. Dorigo, G. T. Caro, and L. M. Gambardella, in which these authors discuss about the different ant algorithms such as AS, Maxman AS, and Colony System. A case for fully decentralized dynamic VM consolidation in cloud written by E. Feller, C. Morin, and A. S. Not, in which the authors have applied the min max ant system to the VM consolidation problem in context of the cloud computing. The theme for this actually is to solve the VM consolidation problem and reduce the energy consumption of the data centers at the same time satisfying the quality of service requirements using a very adaptive online optimization meta heuristic algorithm called the ant colony system to actually optimize the placement of the VMs on the PMs. The objectives are to formulate the energy efficient VM consolidation as a multi-objective combinatorial optimization problem to optimize three conflicting objectives simultaneously. The three objectives that are actually optimized are the energy consumption, minimum number of VM migrations as well as the SLA violations. The other objective is to present a distributed multi-agent system architecture for dynamic consolidation in which a local agent actually detects the status of the physical machine, whether it is normal, whether it is overloaded, whether it is detected overloaded, or whether it is underloaded. And lastly, the objective is to take into account the multidimensional resource utilization of a physical machine and VM consolidation in ACS VMC is actually based on three dimensions the CPU, the memory, and the network output. The design of this uh, algorithm something like this is that the local agents actually take the data from the PM as to whether the physical machine is in an overloaded state, in break the overloaded state, in a overloaded state or in a normal state. These local agents gather data from all the physical machines and fed, feed it to the global agent which then finds the global optimal solution and provides this solution to the virtual machines and hence the migration of, this, of the different VMs is done by these VMs. The present methods are not actually optimizing the energy consumption, reduction of the optimization energy consumption to the fullest. At present, the ways of dynamic VM allocation are not able to reduce a lot of energy. That is, sometimes the system stays in a loaded state for a long period of time, which in turn wastes the potential of CPU resources, or at the other hand, can also stay at the overloaded state for a long period of time, which reduces the quality of service. And not to mention that this SLA violation, the number of migrations can also be reduced. The proposed design is that it creates a set of tuples T, and for each tuple in that set, it has a three elements that is the source physical machine, the VM to be migrated, and the destination physical machine. Okay, then to reduce the complexity of the algorithm as well as at the same time not uh, deviate from the optimization two constraints are actually defined. Firstly, it is that the source physical machine should either be an overloaded machine or a predator overloaded machine or an underloaded machine. The underloaded machine is actually used so that if all the VMs from them are actually migrated, it can actually be turned off or terminated and hence the energy can be reduced. And the overloaded and the predicted overloaded machines can of course be obviously used as a source machine. 
and at the same time the destination machine should not be an overloaded machine or a predator overloaded machine for obvious reasons as it would actually increase the load on them and decrease the quality of service. The output of the VM consideration algorithm that we are actually proposing is actually a migration plan which when it will be imposed will actually result in the minimum set of active PMs which are needed to host all the virtual machines without actually compromising the performance. We are actually using an objective function for the proposed algorithm which is the f of m equals p of s base power gamma plus inverse of modulus of m where m is actually the migration plan and p of s is the set of physical machines that are actually in the sleep or switched off mode and when this m plan is going to be imposed and the parameter gamma is actually determining the relative importance of the physical machines that are sleeping with respect to the migration plan. The sum of, some of the formulas used in the design are firstly the S which is actually a tuple that may be chosen next by a particular hand which is actually devised based on the pheromone level that is tau of u and an heuristic value called eta of u and it's raised to the power of beta which is actually just an optimization and uh, to see the relative importance of this heuristic value. Let's define the heuristic value first and then we'll go to the PS. The heuristic value is actually C of PDE minus U of PDE plus UV whole inverse, which actually means C of PDE is actually the total capacity of the destination machine, and that destination capacity is actually subtracted by the used capacity of the destination machine and the used capacity of the virtual machine being migrated. This is actually used if the destination machine's used capacity as well as the VM's use capacity is actually less than the actual capacity being of the actual capacity C of the destination physical machine. This is actually used so that the machine which is being migrated from the physical machine does not make that physical machine overloaded. P of S is actually the probability of an ant K to take P S as the next part. Form, the formula for this probability is actually tau of s, that is the pheromone level, into eta of s, that is the heuristic value, raised to the power of beta, which is actually the relative importance divided by the summation for all tuples uh, and the ants, and the corresponding tau u into beta u, raised to the power beta value. Uh, the most important part in this proposed design is the local pheromone as well as the global pheromone. The local pheromone is actually used when one ant traverses from one place to another or we can say that one virtual machine actually travels from one physical machine to another physical machine. This is, this is actually used because once an ant travels from one place to another that makes that place less interesting for other ants because its interestingness value is decreased and this actually helps such that all the ants do not converge to one place earlier leading to the stagnation and not being able to find other optimal solutions. And the global pheromone is actually used or applied rather after all the ants have traveled their path. So let's move to the proposed design and let me explain the algorithm used. The algorithm, actually the output of this algorithm is going to be the migration plan uh, that is going to make the best utilization of the virtual machines as well as the machines. So Initially, what we do is we take the global best migration plan M plus S5 and the set of migration plan also S5. Then for all the tuples, uh, for all the T as a set of tuples, we calculate the initial pheromone level as tau naught. Then we perform Ni iterations and for each iterations, there are N A number of ants concurrently performing and forming their migration plans. So, for each hand, what happens is that there is a temporary plan which is actually initiated to phi, then there is an ant specific migration plan that is M of K and a score uh, that is the best score for a particular ant. Then, for each tuple, what we do is we generate a random variable Q with the help of the uniform distribution that is between 0 and 1 and then if this q is actually greater than q naught which is nothing but a parameter to determine the relative importance of the exploitation and then compute the probability p of s which is actually defined in the previous slide and then 
after that what we do is for each tuple the unspecific temporary migration plan is actually made and in that uh, the, this tuple t is actually added and the local update rule is applied after the updation of the local update rule the used capacity is updated used capacity vectors for the source machine as well as the destination machines in the tuple are actually updated so as to see what effect it has done and then the objective function for this particular and specific migration plan is actually calculated and if that is actually greater than the score thus far obtained by an and this objective function is actually assigned to the best score and the tuple t is actually added to the migration plan for the particular and otherwise this t is chucked off or taken away or discarded after this is done the migration plans are actually added that is all the ants that have performed these iterations are have formed these plans on all these plans are actually added to the set of migration plans after all the plans have been made the best objective function for each and or ants plan is actually calculated and the maximum of them is choosed, chosen rather as the global best migration plan and after that the global update rule which is actually defined in the previous one that is the global pheromone it is actually calculated for all s and after that the algorithm ends and it outputs the best migration plan let's discuss about the various results after algorithm was implemented onto the random workflow data and the first that is the figure 2a discusses the number of SLA violations as well in, uh, in the figure 2b it, it determines whether the energy usage was and uh, the uh, 2c determines uh, or rather tells us how the VM migrations were and lastly the ESV values so conclusion is that the proposed method actually reduces the energy consumption of data center which is actually pretty dominant by the previous results obtained in the previous slide and it actually consolidates the VM in reduce and the hence reduces the active physical machines and at the same time preserves the quality of service requirements. As previously discussed the VM consolidation problem is strictly NP hard hence ACS algorithm is used to find a near optimal solution. That is, if ever an NP hard problem is solved, you will be able to find the optimal solution for this field of solution problem and hence further reduce the energy consumption. A multi objective function is defined which considers both the number of dormant PMs and the number of migrations of the VM. When compared to existing dynamic VM consolidation approaches, this approach, that is the ant colony system, virtual machine migration consolidation not only reduces the energy consumption but also reduces or rather minimizes the SLA violations and the number of migrations of the virtual machine. The evaluation of the performance of the proposed approach was done after conducting experiments with 10 different failover flow trips. Lastly, I would like to mention the references. Firstly, the paper virtual machine consolidation in cloud data center using ACMATI heuristic written by M. Fordos, M. Moshed, R. Calherios, and R. Buya. Secondly, a case for decentralized dynamic VM consolidation cloud written by E. Feller, C. Morin, and A. S. Nolt. Thirdly, and only optimization for the nonlinear resource allocation problem written by P. Y. Yin and J. Y. Wang. Lastly, a taxonomy and survey of energy efficient data centers and cloud computing systems written by A. Velo Glazov, Arbuya, YCD, and Azomia. Thank you so much.